The achievements of African inventors and scientists throughout history continue to have a huge impact on the world. Major African contributions are frequently underappreciated or unrecognized. Many of these breakthroughs and inventions are essential to our civilization and are great achievements in themselves. Nonetheless, despite a severe racial bias that persists today, these brilliant brains have surmounted significant and long-standing barriers to benefit a system that has frequently neglected their capabilities, potential, and even humanity. Join us today in our video as we continue to explore a collection of inventions that have come from the ingenuity of African innovators. Make sure to give our video a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Bennett Ife Kandu Omalo, a Nigerian-American physician, forensic pathologist, and neuropathologist, was the first to discover and publish findings on chronic traumatic encephalopathy in American football players while working at the Allegheny County Coroner's Office in Pittsburgh. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a progressive brain disease thought to be caused by repeated blows to the head and concussions. It is most commonly associated with contact sports like boxing or American football. The majority of available research has often been based on ex-athletes. The Nigerian-born pathologist portrayed by Will Smith in the 2015 film, Concussion, is largely responsible for the most important sports story of the 21st century with his discovery. Concerns about CTE have inspired a global revolution in concussion safety and fueled an ongoing existential crisis for America's most popular sport since 2005 when Dr. Omalu first reported finding extensive brain damage in a former NFL player. Morris Mbetsa stands tall among African inventors. Despite coming out of high school with no formal training in electronics, the Kenyan innovator came up with an SMS-based vehicle anti-theft system. Morris is a self-taught electronic and technology engineer from a tender age of eight. He is credited with inventing the GPRS immobilizer. The unique system works with a program that is installed on your mobile phone. The system is configured with the vehicle's engine. After the installation of the complete system, the owner of the vehicle can lock its doors with a simple SMS. In case the vehicle has been stolen, the owner can simply immobilize the vehicle by sending an SMS with a code. The vehicle simply stalls wherever it is as long as network coverage is available. Moreover, with Mbetz's system, the owner of the car is able to pinpoint the exact location of the vehicle. Morris hasn't stopped there. He has gone further and come up with other inventions as well. He built a tablet for pupils, for example. Additionally, he invented equipment to tap kinetic energy. Dr. Philip Imigwali is often credited with developing the world's first supercomputer. His invention, capable of completing 3.1 billion calculations per second, is sometimes attributed to the birth of the Internet as we know it. However, there has been some debate over the years about his actual contributions to computer and network development. He was awarded the Gordon Bell Prize in 1989 for price performance in high-performance computing applications for an oil reservoir modeling computation that used a novel mathematical formulation and execution. He is well known for making contentious claims about his accomplishments, which the scientific community disputes. Maxwell Chikambutso is a Zimbabwean inventor who rose to fame for his acclaimed first green power prototype generator, which uses radio frequencies to produce 100% clean consumable energy. Chikambutso began exploring technological innovations in 1997 while living in a residential suburb of Harare in Zimbabwe, where he was once profiled as a prominent young man in the innovation industry, with links to other inventions such as a fuel-free electric vehicle, a multi-fuel helicopter, and a radio broadcast transmitter which he used illegally, but it got cancelled due to a lack of funding. He also developed the Digital Navigation Facilitator in 2001, which is used to facilitate aircraft landings based on variables such as the size, position, and speed among others. <music> Mr. 
Milolo Doyoyo is an engineer, inventor, and lecturer from South Africa. He is a researcher in applied mechanics, ultralight materials, green building, renewable energy, and other engineering disciplines. He has lectured in ocean engineering, civil and environmental engineering, and mechanical engineering. Doyoyo is credited with the invention of cementless concrete, senosol, and amerigard coatings. He started research collaborations with electricity generation firms in an approach to enhance energy storage devices for large-scale conventional and renewable energy sources. In the process, he created Senosol, a patented concrete-like substance based on fly ash without the addition of Portland cement. Fly ash is a pollutant produced by coal-fired power stations, cement plants, paper mills, and mining operations. Very few people in Malawi will be familiar with the late Professor Lansin M. Hango, a Malawian engineer who lived overseas lecturing while creating aircraft components that permanently changed the aviation business. It suffices to mention that his patented invention is found in all of the aircraft you see flying today, including those made by Boeing, Airbus, British Aerospace, and even China. That proprietary component is also found in the Space Shuttle and American Army tanks. It is a compact device with a high-speed motor that rotates at 11,500 revolutions per minute, which he developed in 1980, soon before he was appointed Director of Engineering at British Aerospace, a position he held for more than 20 years. He also designed a little device that detects cancers in the human body in the same year. In 1980, he received the Galileo Award as the World Engineer of the Year at a ceremony in Canada and also designed a nuclear-powered generator for the Japanese, which he claims will last 100 years. Following the 1986 Chernobyl accident, which caused many nuclear energy reactor plants in Europe to shut down, the brilliant scholar discovered the reason of the Chernobyl explosion in Russia and devised a resolution. He saw that the rectangular cuboids used in the inlet chambers of nuclear reactors could not tolerate high pressures. Therefore, he built a spherical one. He designed the nuclear reactor that powers Britain and has made significant contributions to the resurrection of nuclear reactors in Europe. The professor spent the last portion of his brilliant professional career designing and building a nuclear reactor for South Africa. <music> professor Francis Alote, a professor of mathematics and nuclear physics, is widely regarded as Ghana's finest scientist to date. He was born in Salt Pond, a town in Ghana's central region, in August 1932. He received his schooling at Ghana National College, University Tutorial College, London Borough Polytechnic, and London Imperial College of Science and Technology. From his work on soft X-ray spectroscopy, he proposed the Alate's formalism, a technique for determining how matter travels in space. In 1973, he was awarded the Prince Philip Gold Prize for this achievement. He established and was the first director of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Computer Center, as well as the first to promote computer education in Ghana. He was named Pro Vice Chancellor in 1978 after serving as Dean of the Faculty of Science at the university for four terms. Prof. Alate progressed through the ranks at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to become the first Ghanaian full professor of mathematics. At a young age, Chakran Abdullah became one of the youngest inventors not only in Morocco, but also in Africa. By the age of 18, he had already finished his first innovation. And after clocking 25 years, he had come up with more than 35 different other innovations. He is known for his expertise in vehicles, military as well as medical equipment. He has gained a reputation in the military field where he is credited with coming up with some sophisticated weapons. An example of his inventions is the square rotor rotary engine that can increase power and speed, and is better than many of the options available in the market. Additionally, this innovation reduces the consumption of fuel.
Engineer Severin Kezu from Cameroon is an African inventor who has excelled in the software field. He has a PhD in software engineering and invented the computerized anti-collision system known as Navigator. The system is compatible with cars, trains, security gates and planes. Kezu's invention gathers data, such as the position of the equipment, the load that it is carrying, its speed and that of the wind and direction. With all that information, the system calculates the possibility of collision. If the risk of collision is high, the system sends a warning to the person operating it. He is now the owner of a Dubai-based industrial company that is worth over millions of dollars. He has employed various engineers and technicians. Moreover, he started an industrial maintenance school in Cameroon. Angalula Sandri Mubinga is a Congolese engineer and assistant professor at the University of Toledo. She is the brilliant mind that transformed an electric car into a hybrid car by integrating a fuel cell. The fuel cell is a device that is electrochemical in nature. It then converts hydrogen into electricity. In turn, the vehicle runs using hydrogen, and the only waste that it releases is water. At first, the car was traveling at 67 kilometers per hour, but thanks to the hybrid system, the car prototype recorded speeds of up to 191 kilometers per hour. Additionally, Sandrine has also designed a hydrogen-powered gas station that runs on solar energy. Langson, a prominent scientist at NASA's Glenn Research Center, is an internationally recognized expert in hypersonics, magnetic levitation systems, plasma and gas dynamics, who left an enormous collection of works that earned him the moniker Dr. Speed. Langson, who was born in 1944 in Cape Coast, Ghana, excelled in his academics from an early age and received the highest mark on a national examination. He won a scholarship to study at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States, where he earned a bachelor's, master's, and PhD in aeronautics and astronautics. Blankson worked at the Xerox Corporation's New Webster Research Laboratory in upstate New York, where he studied electrohydrodynamics and gas dynamics. He joined General Electric's Corporate Research Center in 1982 to work on gas dynamics in high-power circuit breakers, lamp coatings, and hypervelocity projectile launchers. The U.S. government rekindled its interest in hypersonic vehicles in the mid-1980s for both missiles and access to space and appointed Blankson in 1988 to oversee the agency's new long-term initiative to develop technologies for air-breathing hypersonic vehicles. Blankson was promoted to senior technologist at the Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio, in 1997, but continued his research into the propulsion and aerodynamics of air-breathing hypersonic vehicles. Sheikh Anta Diop, a Senegalese historian, linguist, nuclear physicist, and anthropologist, lay the groundwork for the first account of African history to be written without racial bias. Sheikh Anta Diop was a prolific writer who wrote numerous books and scientific articles about the past and present of Africa. Sheikh Anta Diop earned degrees in chemistry and nuclear physics before founding the first African laboratory for radiocarbon, dating in 1966, in a university which is now named after him. We cannot end our list today without mentioning Elon Musk, although many people wouldn't accept him being on the list of great African inventors. Founder of SpaceX, CEOs and chief engineer for Tesla Inc., angel investor CEOs and product architect for the Boring Company and co-founder of Neuralink and OpenAI, Elon Musk with his estimated net worth of roughly $224 billion as of June 2022, according to the Bloomer Billionaires Index, is transforming the world. Musk was born in Pretoria, South Africa, to white South African parents. He co-founded Zip2 with his brother Kimball, which they sold in 1999 to compact for a reported fee of $307 million. Musk co-founded the online bank X.com the following year, which merged with Confinity in 2000 to establish PayPal. 
eBay paid $1.5 billion to buy the company in 2002. Musk started SpaceX in 2002. Although he currently serves as CEO's and chief engineer, and was an early investor in Tesla Motors Inc., which is now Tesla Inc., since 2004. He rose through the ranks to become its chairman and product architect, eventually becoming CEO in 2008. He was a founding member of SolarCity, a solar energy startup that was eventually acquired by Tesla and renamed Tesla Energy. In 2015, he co founded OpenAI, a nonprofit research organization dedicated to fostering benign artificial intelligence. And in 2016, he co-founded Neuralink, a neurotechnology business dedicated to developing brain-computer interfaces. Another company he founded is The Boring Company, a tunnel construction firm. That sums up our video for today. Let us know in the comments any other innovations from other Africans we might have missed. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen, which presents the ancient African inventions that changed the world. As always, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos.